Hello guys. So in this video, we are going to um, create the Spring Boot application and integrate integrate that with uh, Alt Zero. So these are the I'm here at the start Spring.io. So you can go here to configure your application. I'm using Spring Boot uh, 3.1.5 with Maven. Yeah, and these are the configuration the package and everything. And I was doing uh, Java 17. And here are the packages we need. This is for Spring Data MongoDB for, yeah, connecting to the database. Spring Web, obviously. And uh, the resource server, Auth2. Because our API will play uh, as a resource server. Also, I have Lombok for convenience. So everything is ready. Click on uh, generate here and uh, go to terminal. This is the place where I store the UI and also the API. So let's MV downloads Tiki and here. Let's unzip that Tiki API, right? And let's see, uh, let's cd to Tiki API and open that with IntelliJ IDEA. So we have uh, our application here. Let's uh, configure the uh, properties, application properties. I'm going to delete this because I prefer to have application yaml because this is small concise uh, in my opinion so let's try uh, first of all let's configure the port so server port 1991 yeah this is the port uh, I use and also uh, let's uh, configure the spring security so first of all go back to application in Alt zero and copy this domain because this is the domain we need to configure the spring security so spring security or two and a resource server the server and you need to change log t and change okay yep wow. obviously this is the correct configuration so this is the domain and also this is the domain with uh, adding well known and this this one so this is uh, some configuration with uh, off zero next we are going to um, create the security filter chain to config uh, our path so I want to this application To have uh, some public endpoints for future purposes, and other uh, other endpoints need to be authenticated to access. So let's uh, create. I create a new config package here. And next, create a security config uh, security config class. So. This is uh, just the convention. You can name this class as uh, anything as you like. And obviously, this needs to be annotated with configuration. And we enable web security. That's it. Not yet. So let's create a bin with uh, return to security filter chain. So, security filter chain. Filter chain secret filter chain and yeah throw exception and here um, we need to have this HTTP security HTTP and now uh, let's uh, configure uh, the uh, endpoints here so as mentioned the endpoints start with public will be accessible to uh, anyone without authentication so let's see HTTP 
of the right HTTP request, then uh, this would have uh, this uh, copilot has some uh, nice suggestion here, but uh, it need to be fixed. So, so obviously this is what I want. I want to have public to permit all and any other requests need to be authenticated. So the first part is correct, but uh, the auto resource server we need to uh, fix this so this we need to delete this okay oh, to to jwt and customizer with default and uh, obviously this one not correct okay so uh customizer also this is uh yep customizer with default and what is wrong with this csrf right okay we're missing one csrf customizer with default and with that we return http view obviously and that uh, concluded our security configuration so let's quickly create two endpoints one public and uh, one isn't public and see if this configuration works so i'm going to create a new controller package here let's create a public controller so the controller is where you expose the API. So let the client talk to the Spring Boot uh, application. So create a REST controller and request mapping. This will define the mapping um, to uh, your Spring Boot application. So this uh, start with public. And I'm going to create a hello, a get endpoint, get mapping, hello. And yeah, obviously I will from the public endpoint, something like that. And also let's create the, for example, the wallet controller. And this this one, uh, uh, user need to have, uh, need to authenticate to access this. So REST controller, press mapping wallet that add api wallets and also create a get mapping and hello yeah sure public string so this uh, copilot just copy that but this is not wallet endpoint okay and uh, that's it now let's try to start this application and you can see that the application started successfully okay on 1991 and there's some error here it complains that uh, connection refused to mongodb because we haven't configured a mongodb instance for this app so but uh, that is the problem now we will do that in the next video so let's try to access the endpoint so first the public endpoint the host 991 public hello you see that uh, we can access this just fine but what if go to api wallet hello and you see that this is a 410 that means we need authentication to access this so let's try grabbing the uh, access token from the front the angular app and see if we can access this so let's try the angular app here okay i'm going to log in and open this dev tool to get the access token make sure you click on fetch or hhr here click on login and since i already log in i have the token here i'm going to copy that and paste it here remove the quote here and try to access this with CRL. Copy this. 
zero the syntax is h to perhaps a header authorization Authorization. okay bearer okay we paste the the token here but let's paste the url first i'll copy this and paste it here before the closing port now copy this and paste into the terminal and sure enough uh, we see that hello world from the wallet endpoint so we have successfully integrate uh, the backend with auth0 and also uh, we can access the API uh, with the token uh, we, we, we obtain from the front end so the, the integration with auth0 is done in the next video we're going to de uh, develop the API uh, with Spring Boot. I'll see you soon.